Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, listen, it is Saturday, February 25th. We're coming to you live from Uvalde, Texas. I told you if anything was happening in Olympia, we would put together a video to get it out. And we got some very, very important and mildly disturbing developments coming out of Olympia. It appears that one of the bills that might have been going into hibernation may not yet be on that list to do that. And in fact, it may be rearing its ugly head and that is a semi-automatic rifle ban or what we've been talking about here in House Bill 1240. So today, let's spend a couple of really important minutes talking about what's going on and what you need to do about it. So let's spend a few minutes and get you up to speed on, is someone frantically trying to revive Washington's assault weapon ban? Okay, before we get going down the road, we're going down. This video is being brought to you by the Conservative Ladies of Washington. I encourage all of you to sign up for their Legislative Action Center. You will have the links for it down below in the description box. Now, this is really important because as we are about to talk about, House Bill 1240 is kind of rearing its ugly head. In addition to all of these horrible pieces of gun legislation, let us not forget that the Democrats in Olympia this year have been doing lots and lots of crazy things have lots of crazy proposals. So if you want to get your knuckles bloody with some of this other legislation, again, you need to sign up for the Conservative Ladies of Washington's Legislative Action Center. Okay, let's get right to it. Here's what we are hearing rumors from Olympia. Speaker of the House, Lori Jenkins, who uh, you can imagine the amount of poll that she would have as far as dictating what makes it to the floor is very, very interested in having House Bill 1240 make it to the floor this session. Now, most of the political will and power seems to be behind House Bill 1143. Now, to get you all up to speed, make sure you understand what the numbers are. House Bill 1143 is pre-purchasing licensing, and we've already done several videos on that. And as we know, that bill right now is absolutely set perfectly to go to the launching pad. House Bill 1240 has never had a financial assessment, but one of the reasons is, is there's not a huge cost to the state. And Speaker Jenkins is very interested in trying to get perhaps House Bill 1240 to the floor. Now, here's the problem. The Democrats have bitten off way more than they can chew this year. They have far too many bills to get through. And candidly, Speaker Jenkins is going to have to cut some bills. So what do we, as the lawful and responsible gun owners in Washington State, need to do? Well, not only do you need to start contacting your legislator, ability to do so down below, but also you need to start contacting Speaker Jenkins. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should throw one under the bus in sacrifice of the other. These are two horrible pieces of legislation. Remember that the first one, complete violation of the common use test, announced that Heller would ban the most common platform of rifle known to man. The other piece of legislation would require you to get government's permission before you can then go exercise a constitutionally guaranteed right. But there is pressure building on the speaker from outside groups to get this assault weapon ban onto the agenda. Whether the political will is there or not remains to be seen. So, so far, we have been making a difference, and I need all of you to continue to make a difference. If you don't know who your legislator is, shame on you, but that's okay. The links on how to do that are down below. Most importantly, sign up for the Conservative Ladies of Washington's Legislative Action Center right now. Links for that are down below. And not only can you track these bills minute by minute, but you can get action items on what you can do about it. We need everyone's help this weekend. This coming week, we're going to start seeing bills make it to four votes. We still have an opportunity to make a difference. So I'm asking all of you lawful and responsible gun owners to do exactly that. If you have any other questions in the meantime, you guys know the drill by now. You can contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com. You can call us directly at 425-765-0487. From Uvalde, let's remember, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner like we talk about all the time here is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.